Hi everyone, my name is Akhil Aroda and I'm a final year PhD candidate at the EPFL Data Science Lab and an external collaborator of Wikimedia Research. Today I'll talk to you about a specific class of Wikipedia articles, that is orphans, shed light on their characteristics and discuss potential ways to de-orphanize them. This is joint work with Martin Gorlack from the Wikimedia Foundation and my advisor, Bob Baird. So what are orphan articles? An article that is not linked from any other Wikipedia article is termed as an orphan. As shown in the figure, editors clearly mark orphan articles with a note visible at the top. Looking, looking at a toy network of Wikipedia articles, it is clear that orphan articles denoted using red circles could link to other articles or may even be reached via the web, but no other articles links to them. Thus, Despite their content, orphan articles cannot contribute fully to reader learning experience as they are de facto invisible to readers browsing Wikipedia. Let me address the elephant in the room. So Wikipedia has orphan articles, but what's the big deal? The big deal is that we find the existence of around 9 million orphan articles, which amounts to a whopping 15% of all Wikipedia articles. As shown in the plot, the orphan rate in English Wikipedia is only 5%, which is relatively small if you look at the relative numbers, but this still amounts to 200,000 articles in absolute terms, which is a lot. Also, while usually smaller Wikipedias have higher orphan rates, which is upwards of 30%, but there are many Wikipedias among the 20 largest Wikipedia editions, uh, such as uh, Egyptian Arabic, Vietnamese Arabic, and even Farsi, that have a very high orphan rate, which is upwards of 20% at times, but as high as 80% as in the case of Egyptian Arabic. Next, deorphanization is quite challenging for editors, which is evidenced by the exorbitantly low rate of deorphanization, which is as low as around 0.2%. While editors are able to deorphanize many thousand articles, new articles are all also added, and thus the overall fraction of orphans stays approximately constant. The grim figure here is that at this rate, it would take more than 20 years to deorphanize the entire in Wikipedia. But I'm digressing. Let's go back to the visibility of orphan articles, which is where we started our discussion. A natural question that comes to mind here is, are orphans less visible? Comparing the page views of orphans with non-orphans, we actually find that non-orphans receive more page view, more than twice the number of page views when compared to the page views received by orphans. And this is consistently seen across different language versions of Wikipedia. But let me take a step back here. Are orphan articles really less visible? Or let me rephrase this. Does adding in links to orphans really cause the articles to receive more page views? One cannot be sure because there could be many confounding art, uh, factors such as article popularity, topics, and more. And which means that we need to account for confounders. To do so, we resort to natural experiments <clears throat> where we act as mere observers and let nature flip the coin for us. Specifically, we find an orphan article that received an in-link indicated by the red arrow in this graphic, and we exploit the fact that Wikipedia is inherently multilingual. By doing so, we find the same article, but in, other, in another language that remains an orphan. This naturally gives us our treatment and control groups and accounts for all the possible confounders. But let me again take a step back here. Does it though? I can actually think for about one more confounder that still exists. Just changing the fact of trendiness to original trendiness, which accounts for language specific factors. Specifically, what I mean by that here is think about a, a, a original trend, which actually impacts both the chance of an article to be an orphan, but also the, the chance that the article will receive higher page views. And this is still a confounder because it still impacts both the treatment and the outcome. We fix this by a clever strategy of inverting the treatment, what, where what we do is we find a non-orphan article that actually lost a link. As before, we find the same article, but in another language that remains a non-orphan. And I'll argue that here, a loss in trendiness won't motivate a human editor to modify a page and take the link away. And thus this setup fixes the issue of original trendiness, which is also indicated in the causal diagram here. Applying this setup on Wikipedia, we find around 12,000 treatment control pairs. And using a differences and differences analysis, we find that 
adding in links to orphans actually causes an increase in their page views by 6%, whereas removing in links from orphans causes their page views to decrease by 13% as shown in the plot on the right. Moving further, we also stratified the page views by the referrer or actually broke down the traffic that is received by external versus internal uh, hyperlinks. And we also verified that the treatment effects is driven primarily by the internal links or the link that was added or, take, or that was taken away. Having established the fact that being an orphan actually causes an article to be significantly less visible than non-orphans, the obvious question that comes to mind here is that how can we de-orphanize these articles? Let me just again jog a memory that let's recall the fact that Wikipedia is inherently multilingual and thus we can bring the power of transfer learning, which is a popular uh, technique in natural language processing and computer vision to networks. Specifically, what we do here is we look at an article that is an orphan in, in English Wikipedia, as shown in this example, and we look at another Wikipedia. Uh, for instance, here, the French Wikipedia, where the same article is not an orphan, as shown by a green article colored box, that, which is an article that points to it. And in this case, what we do is basically here, we can simply transfer the link uh, from French Wikipedia to English Wikipedia. And this naturally gives us our recommender. In fact, what we find that this recommender actually provides recommendation for more than 60% of orphan articles. And owing to its success, we were actually able to successfully deploy this as a prototype tool, uh, by uh, to, which actually assist editors in de-orphanizing articles. You are welcome to try this out by scanning this QR code. Wrapping up, today I talked about orphan articles, which are truly the dark, dark matter of Wikipedia, because they are de facto invisible to readers browsing Wikipedia, and they make up a large fraction of Wikipedia. We also found that editors need support to de-orphanize articles for which we devise methods and tools. And these tools also help enhance the navigability of Wikipedia and journal. As a broader implication, this work provides a novel perspective on the trade-off associated between the cost of content creation and maintenance at scale. For future correspondences, please feel free to reach out to me or read our paper by scanning this QR code. On that note, thank you, and I'll be happy to take any questions.